Biogas in Brazil. How has the Brazilian biogas industry evolved uh, in the last years? Well, it has evolved a lot. I can tell you this. Biogas in Brazil is not something new. There are uh, records of uh, projects, uh, you know, dating back to the 1980s, but they were done in a very uh, tentative way in terms of you know, pioneering projects. But basically what's been uh, going on since uh, 2013, when the Brazilian uh, Biogas Association was uh, created, uh, uh, was the development of a regulation that would allow companies to invest and uh, be comfortable in making those investments, that they would have a return, and, but also, and very important, to make the, the customers comfortable, to make the end users comfortable, especially about the quality of biogas. So back in 2013, we created the, the Biogas Association exactly to, to promote the implementation of all this regulation. This has been done uh, satisfactorily, so we do have now uh, federal regulation about biogas and biomethane. We have a federal specification for biomethane, so there is one quality and everybody knows it. So the producers know what specification they have to achieve. And also the end users, the consumers, they know what uh, quality of, of biomethane is uh, legal and safe for them to buy. So there's been quite a big development. And of course, since the inception of this, uh, this uh, regulation, many uh, projects are being developed, uh, investments are being made. And so far, we have a, a, a very exciting uh, pipeline of projects coming online. Focusing on biomethane, what are the national policies that uh, are boosting uh, its development? So there are two sets of policies from a federal level, as I mentioned, and this is all in place. And then there is the state level. Brazil is divided in different states and each state has the authority to regulate the distribution of the biomethane. So uh, who can sell the biomethane, who can buy the biomethane, what is the tax imposed on that transaction, so on and so forth. So the association has been helping states one by one to develop and implement these uh, regulations and several states uh, already have these uh, regulations in place and the, uh, the projects are, are coming online, are working, and there is already uh, biomethane being produced and sold and used regularly by industries, by transportation companies, by uh, uh, even gas stations in the street, so you can fill your car with, uh, with uh, biomethane and you don't even know it. So uh, this, is, this is working on. But there is also a new uh, development, which is the Renova Bio, the national biofuels policy that promotes the use of all biofuels, including ethanol, biodiesel, and also biomethane. This new policy creates a, a decarbonization credit that is issued by the biofuel producer, and this credit uh, can be sold in the stock exchange. So this represents a new revenue stream for the biofuel producer. So if uh, you set up a biomethane production facility, you will have a revenue for selling your biomethane, obviously, but you also have an additional line of revenue, which is the sale of these um, decarbonization credits. What are the most used feedstocks uh, to produce biogas or biomethane in the country? Okay, in terms of number of plants, there are about 500 biogas plants in Brazil, the vast majority of them, they produce uh, biogas from agricultural waste. However, these are very small and scattered all over the country. It's a huge country, as you, as you know. Uh, so the large uh, plants today are in the large cities, in Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, in Fortaleza, in the north of the country, a few also in the south. Uh, which produce mainly from municipal solid waste in landfills. In a potential uh, perspective, however, the largest potential is from agricultural waste because we have huge uh, uh, initiatives as well from uh, sugarcane uh, waste, uh, in, in, in sugarcane and ethanol waste, and also from all the, the protein supply chain in terms of uh, pork 
or, or poultry production. What are the largest obstacles to overcome in order to reach the full potential of the industry? So, in one side, we have these uh, state-level regulations that we need to implement. As I said, many states already adopted these regulations, and this is going quite well, but not every state. So, we are developing this. Um, and another, another point is in terms of uh, finance. So, uh, the projects, they are very sound on the, an economic perspective. Basically, there is a huge investment up front, but then you have a, a, a stable stream of revenues and very little cost because in the end of the day, you are producing the biogas using uh, waste material. So the, the actual return on the projects is very high. However, in Brazil, it is very hard to obtain finance. Most of the projects that are already operating, they were developed um, using equity. So... Um, uh, it's very hard to get uh, a loan, for example, to invest in a, in a biogas facility. That is because the, it's a, still a very new market and uh, there are no long-term contracts to sell this uh, biomethane especially. So if you uh, uh, build a biogas plant to generate electricity, for example, you can sell this electricity in the market uh, with, you know, five or ten year contracts, and then you can use this contract to leverage uh, a financial structure to, to, to make the investment. On the biomethane, however, since it's very new, everything is on spot. So there are no long-term contracts to sell this biomethane. So it's very hard to obtain the finance uh, to, to, in terms of loan to build. So basically, all the investments have been done in the form of, of equity. Uh, so we are working on this as well to provide the structure to the market in terms of guarantees and lines of credit so that developers have access to these structures so that they can uh, move forward with their, with their projects.